Let's take a look at the six foot seven, 20 year old wing out of Italy, Gabriel Prashida. He did play in the Italian league this past season and then was drafted number 36 overall by the Detroit Pistons. The one thing this kid does best is shoot the ball. You see him catch and shoot right there, knock it down. And then this baseline out of bounds play, he's able to read his defender, pop to the open spot, get his feet set, does have a high release. And then at six, seven, able to knock it down. And it's not just catch and shoot. Maybe one thing I was most impressed with was his ability to put it on the deck for just one or two dribbles and then still get that shot off as he gets fouled there and is still able to make it. Now there wasn't a lot in the mid-range other than in this game against Treviso. So here again, a baseline out of bounds coming off a screen. He's going to be able to step into it, right, left, rise up, knock that down. And then he's able to do it off the dribble as well. So coming off a staggered, this is an action we see from the Detroit Pistons a lot, able to catch, curls off of it, one dribble, again, 6'7", high release, knocks it down. He didn't do that mid-range a lot, but in that particular game, we did see it just a little bit. And then one final one as we start to move to his scoring, his offensive rebounding is something I really buy, even though the numbers weren't great. He didn't average one offensive rebound per game, but he only played 18.5 minutes per game. So I do think it's something he can do as we see him go and grab that one. And again, we're going to see him knock down. You leave this kid open, he's going to knock it down. He shot 38% from three this past season on 60 attempts. Again, Again, only 18 and a half minutes a game for Gabriel Prashida, so the stats are a little bit skewed. Sticking with the offensive rebounds, I put this one out on Twitter. You see the vertical pop that this kid has. It's a little underrated, but I think people are starting to see it more and more as he goes and gets that. And this is what I'm talking about. If you turn your head, you don't box him out, he's going to run into the lane and he's going to get involved in the offensive boards. He doesn't finish that one. Again, I know the stats don't necessarily show it, but he is a kid that is going to attack offensive rebounds. And I think as he gets better and better at it, those numbers will improve. Another thing I think he does well and will eventually become more substantial is off-ball cutting. So he saw his man turn his head here. He starts to make the cut. But what I like is he sees his man recover. He sees he's not going to get the ball. So he returns to the corner to allow the spacing for his big man to go to work in the post, even though he doesn't get a bucket. And then one more, his man overhelps. So he's going to put his foot in the ground, go back door. He had him beat just because of the spacing and where the ball was. He didn't get it, but I do think that's another little element he can add along with the shooting. Now, the absolute biggest thing he has to improve offensively is being able to attack the lane off the bounce. So first, we're going to start just kind of in isolation situation. So here, the lane was open. He had an opportunity to attack his man into the lane, and he just wasn't able to take it. A lot of times, he'll almost just settle for passing it up like he did there into his post. Again, an open lane for him to drive a defender that's up close enough that he can attack and he just doesn't have a lot of finesse or nuance to his drive as you see him put his shoulder down there just run the defender over for a charge and then in general he's going to settle for the jump shot so while he shoots it and that's what he does best you still would like to see I think he could attack this right here and put a little bit more pressure on the defense lots of clips of him settling for the jump shot even though he does it well still would like to see him do that and I think part of the reason is he's not super confident in his handle. So a couple examples of that as he does a good job snaking the screen there, but the help defender is able to get a hand in, take it from him again using the ball screen, is going to reuse it, goes behind his back just a little bit loose, loses the ball on that one, ends up in a turnover. Now, one thing I do think he's going to continue to get better at and can probably do right now is attack closeouts. So you see him catch here, attack the closeout, gets fouled, gets to the free throw line where he did shoot 78% on free throws, 51 attempts. He was 68% on twos overall, guys. So don't get me wrong here, but only on 53 attempts, actually less attempts than from three. And he was only 0.62 points per possession on catch and drive. So if you take away transition putbacks and cuts where he was really good he just wasn't very efficient around the rim and then the last aspect of his offensive game is the passing so again it's about attacking the basket drawing help defenders so you create those opportunities and then executing it. Here he has two defenders. I think he has an opportunity to dump it off to his big and you see he's not able to finish, wasn't able to make the pass. Here it's a little bit better. He does drive this. So this is what I'm talking about. Do this more, but doesn't execute the pass to his big, put it on the money there, 
You may blame that one on his big, that he should have had his hands in the right spot, but I just think there's some nuance to the passing. He has some careless turnovers at time. Only 0.7 assists a game to go right along with 0.7 turnovers per game. Right there for Prashida. But... If you want to get excited about a single play, this is the one here. You see him able to attack off the perimeter, spin move, reads the defense, takes the help, and drops it off to his big. That was a very isolated possession in the films that I watched, but it's nice to know that he has it in his bag just a little bit. Now let's take a look at the defensive end of the floor where the biggest thing he must improve is this, defending ball screens. He runs into the ball screener way too much, putting his defense in a tough spot. You're going to see him navigate off ball screens a little bit better we'll get to the off ball stuff in a second and then the on ball is pretty good when it's not defending ball screen you see him cut off the ball handler there but here comes the ball screen doesn't get over the top very well ends up giving up a layup at the rim so this is a huge huge thing for him to get better at as he moves along throughout his career one final one doesn't have very good fundamentals there trying to get over that one here at the end of the first quarter puts his defense in a rotation ends up giving up an open look now there were some good possessions which get you excited so here he is able to get that foot over the top of the screener and then even this one even though he doesn't play it perfect and ends up falling he was trying to fight over the top and he is a kid that's just going to fight on the defensive end. Now, I've let this one continue to play. Defensive rebounding, only 2.4 per game. Again, 18.5 minutes skews it, but I do think he could get a little more involved on the boards at times. I'll talk about that more some in just a second as well. And then here, you see him execute an ice of the ball screen. So him and his big are going to keep it to the sideline and he does a good job of that. I think the basketball IQ, like I talked about offensively, is something he definitely has defensively as well. And then just looking at him straight on ball kind of when it's isolation, I really buy into Gabriel Prashida. So here you're going to see a really good rep as he flips his hips and then he's a kid that's going to be able to use his length at six foot seven. And then I thought this was a really good example in transition. So he's able to run with the ball handler and then as he makes a dribble move, Prashida is just able to flip fluidity, flip his hips, even though his teammate fouls. And I just really buy what he's able to do on the ball, flipping his hips, staying in front, staying with ball handlers. Maybe not like super explosive, quick point guards in the league, but definitely against wings. And then one thing I probably didn't see enough of to give a definitive answer is how switchable. Will he be able to guard fours? Definitely not fives. I hear a possession where he kind of holds his own, pushes the post guy out. They end up calling him for a foul. I think the jury's still out on that, but as he gets stronger and we'll see where that comes into play in just a second I think maybe he can guard some force I talked about the basketball IQ earlier it really shows up off ball so here executing a switch on the baseline out of bounds play I know it seems simple but how many times have you seen an NBA player not execute that and I think it's something Prashida is going to do really well now I let this clip play because one thing he does tend to do have a bad habit of he'll hug up to his man on the weak side he still does a decent job tagging the role guy in those things Things, but at times he gets just a little bit hugged up to his man and so I think that's something he's gonna have to be careful with but here you see him scram switch so it's gonna be a smaller guy on the big he's bigger than his teammate here so he scram switches him out onto the perimeter and then he's willing to be physical so he scram switches takes the contact but again he ends up getting called for a foul because he just grabs on he's just not quite strong enough to hold up so maybe in two or three years when he's a little bit stronger you can see him guard those bigger players players just a little bit more and then the communication happened a lot as he was talking out switches pointing again a little thing but something I came away impressed with for a 20 year old playing in a professional league and I mentioned it earlier he is willing to tag the role guy comes over here gets his hand in involved and ends up forcing a turnover on that possession and then the defensive rebounding just would have liked to see a little bit more of this as he comes in from the weak side uses that length uses that vertical pop to come up with a defensive rebound and then finally, as much as he struggled with on-ball screens, the off-ball screen navigation wasn't too bad. So he navigates one here. His man catches. Again, I buy the on-ball kind of in isolations. Now he's going to get flare screened, recognizes it, gets through, and able to stay with his man. So Prashida offensively, really by the shooting, maybe the cutting offensive rebounding becomes a plus as well, but he's really got to get better when he puts the ball on the ground. And then defensively, really like a lot of it, but the ball screen defense really has to improve.